Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. All right, what this video is going to be about is it's going to be about my findings through my red dots switchover from irons to red dots. The red dots we're going to be talking about is going to be the Trigicon SRO, the Trigicon RMR, the Hollow Sun 507C, and we're going to be talking about the Delta Point Pro. Just so you know, on the 507C, I believe I have six of those red dots. The Trigicon RMR, I have one of. The Trigicon SRO, I actually have two of. And the Delta Point Pro, I have two of. So, gonna kinda give you variation. I've been shooting these. I've been, you know, competing with them. I've been jacking around with them. I've been shooting them. And just so you know, not one of them of any of those have failed, flickered, gone out. I've had to return any of them. None of that has happened. So I've had success with all of these. But what I'm going to talk about is kind of my stand and my opinion, not like a professional shooter's opinion. It's kind of like my likes and dislikes um, and what I recommend them. Do I like them? That kind of thing. Like what is my favorite? Um, you know, just to give you an idea, if you're thinking about getting into it, uh, this is going to be the video to watch because I was a total noob. I was an iron shooter. And at the end, I'll talk about how I have progressed. So this could be kind of a long video, but I'm going to try to give you all the information that I can give you and my opinions for what they're worth. Uh, this is what it's going to be. And these are all factual. I'm not making this up. I'm not sugarcoating it. I'm not doing any of that. So this is it. So I'm just letting you know. All right. First, we will talk about the Delta Point Pro. So this is the Delta Point Pro. I have this one on the P09, the custom P09. All of these guns are safety checked and unloaded. I've had to actually unload some of them for this video. So um, we'll go ahead and fire it. Um, on this particular Delta Point Pro, you'll notice I have the rear um, Leopold backup sight. It actually hooks onto your Delta Point Pro, so it kind of gives you like a little co-witness with the front. Um, but I haven't gotten a front sight on this. I'm just letting you know. I'm just talking about just the RMRs or Delta Point Pros. Um, my likes on this one. It does have a large window, so that is definitely a like. You can see it lit up right there. So that gives you a good shot at it. Uh, this is not the 7.5. This is, I believe, the 2.5. Um, and, you know, I do have astigmatism. I'll let you know that, too. And there's varying, very, very astigmatism, as I, as I understand. So people can see things differently. Uh, what do I like about this one? I actually like that it gives you a large window. So it is easy to acquire it. You know, when you pull the gun up, you can see it. I mean, it's just right there, you know. It's really not missing it because it's such a large window. The thing about this also is when you shoot it, it actually goes up. Now, if you're shooting super, super fast, it can leave the window, but it can come right back down. So, you know, it's a large field of view. Um, and so far, I like it. The clarity on it is not, not perfect or not the best, I would say, but the clarity on it is really good. Um, what I do notice is when I'm outside even dry firing, you know, if I have the sun coming at me and I've got this up with full intensity, this can actually wash out, meaning like I don't even see the dot because the sun or the really brightness is actually washing out the dot. So that has happened with this one before. Um, but it is a good dot. Yes, I haven't had one shut down on me. Uh, I haven't replaced, had to replace the battery on it yet. You know, I'm trying to do it every year on my birthday so to say just change all my dots you know with all the the um, batteries um do i like it would i recommend it yeah so far it's been good uh, i don't see any reason not to recommend it uh is it my favorite not really so um you know it's there the, the you know how to turn up the intensity you have to go all the way up or you have to hold it and then it'll blink and then it'll actually come back down. That's okay. The thing is it doesn't get hit. You know, like you, you can't accidentally press it unless you stick your finger in there. So that's actually probably a good thing. Um, but would I recommend it? 
yeah, sure. If you want a large window and you don't want to go to the SRO, get the Delta Point Pro if that's what you like. But it does wash out in really, really bright sunlight. So if you're shooting plates and like the sun's coming at you, it can actually wash it out. So that's what I found with it so far. So there's the Delta Point Pro. Now I will talk about the Trijicon RMR. This one is actually unloaded. This is on a P10C. This is the Trijicon RMR. This is kind of the standard, you know, I guess the one everybody talks about. Um, I think this is kind of the workhorse, meaning the way that it's designed, you could drop it, beat it up, and it's still gonna work and function. Let's see if I can get you a red dot right there. So that lets you see it. I believe this one is the 2.5 or 3.5. It's the smaller one. It's not the one MOA though. Um, it's the RMR 06 adjustable, so I can turn it up and down. Um, what do I think about this? When I go to grab the pistol and I throw it up there, if you don't get the correct angle every time, you actually can miss the dot and then you have to adjust the pistol to find the dot. So the window is not real huge here. It's actually kind of small, um, but with training, you know, you can find, find the dot and acquire the dot you know, to turn it up, you're just going to hit your plus here, your negative there to turn it down. You know, it's very simple. Um, the thing about this when you carry an appendix is you could potentially push this button and it could decrease. I haven't done it yet on this one. Have I? I don't think I have. I don't think I've ever turned it down like when it's in the holster or anything like that. Um, you know, to carry all of these dots, and I have carried every one of them, um, they kind of feel the same. There's not one that, you know, bulges or hurts or anything like that over the other one, so they all pretty much carry the same. Probably the one I've carried the least is the Delta Point Pro, just to let you know. So, but this one carries perfectly fine. I've had no issues with it. Seems to work great. Haven't had any failures. Uh, like I said, when you come out of the holster, you just have to get that perfect window every time, or you can miss it up in the top, and then you have to pull it, pull the nose back down for it to fall into the window. So that can happen. Um, would I recommend the RMR? Yes. I mean, it's. I, I really do think it's bulletproof. I don't, you know, but I'm not the guy that goes and slams them up and beats on them. You know, you can check out Sage Dynamics for that. He beats on a fence post with them and all that stuff. But so far, it takes a little bit to get used to, more so because of the, the window size. So there's that. And out of all of these, my opinion is this one has the smallest window. Your RMR has the smallest window. That's my opinion. So there you go on that. That's the RMR. Okay. Next, we will do the Hollow Sun 507C. Now, what is my opinion of this? To be honest with you, I actually like the window size better than the standard RMR. For some reason, it, every time I throw it up there, probably because it's not flat across the top like the RMR is, it's rounded, so it gives me a little more height on the top. So if you pull it out of the holster and you actually draw it and you kind of miss it, you know, like on the RMR, you might miss it because it'll be up in the top. This one tends to catch it a little better. So have I had any problems with the RMR uh, 507C? No, I haven't. I kind of like how you adjust it, that it's really small on the side. You know, it's just, you have to kind of purposely stick your fingers in there so you can't bump them. Um, and you have to actually make it change. Uh, so I do like these little buttons, believe it or not. And I've got big old fingers, but so far, they're really easy to adjust. I'll let you see the dot. There's the dot right there. And another feature this has, let me change this, is you can actually change it to a 32 MOA dot. All right, and I'll let you see that. Try to get it in the window, there you go. Now that is the 32 MOA ring with the dot in the center. The cool thing about this one is you have dual reticles. Now not on the 407, only on the 507 you have dual reticles. But a lot of people would be like, why the hell do you need that? 
Well, I'm going to tell you, if you're new to red dots, and I didn't have experience with this one at first, because I had tried other ones at first, but when you throw this thing up, there's no way to miss that big ring. And the cool thing is if you're shooting like bullseye targets, you know, it's the paper where it's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're the six bullseyes. You can actually take this ring and you can actually put it in the bullseye and ring your bullseye. I mean, if you've got it lined up correctly, that center of that dot of your 32 MOA, you will be hitting bullseyes all day long. What's really cool is I run this one also on the Glock Deadpool PDW on that little personal defense uh, weapon setup that I have. And that is a really cool optic for that. So like on a rifle or on a PCC or something, this would be really cool optic for that. So it's neat that you have both of those reticles in one package. It's actually really cool. Uh, they're also going to come out with a green version. They don't have it out yet, but they are coming out with it. So that'll be, or maybe it is out already, but that'll be something for you to try too. Uh, but do I recommend the Hollow Sun? Yeah, I actually really like it. Uh, I actually like the Hollow Sun 507C better than the Trigicon RMR, the standard one. Um, and a lot of people are going to be like, what? But I actually do. I like the way that it's set up. Plus, you've got the battery backup with the solar panel. Supposedly, this thing gets a gazillion, you know, whatever, uh, power. I don't know that to be true because I haven't tested that for years and years. But so far, I haven't lost any power with it. So when you throw it out there and you see that big bullseye, you know, that 32 MOA, it's pretty cool. Or you can change it. You just hold down the, uh, the negative, I believe, and it goes to just a regular dot, and that's a two MOA dot. So I really like that. So now to the bread and butter. This is the Trigicon SRO. It is the round optic. You know, the SRO, it's a large optic. It's probably your largest field of view. And I'll kind of show you here what it looks like. See, I might have to turn it up. Yeah, we'll have to turn it up a little bit. But we will turn it up, and I'll kind of show you there. Now this is the 5 MOA. I have two of these. I have the 2.5 and the 5. This is the 5. So you can see that big old bad boy glowing. Now at first I thought, you know, man, the 5 is really big. But the cool thing is you can turn it down. Let me turn it down quite a bit. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. So it doesn't look so large, but during really bright sunlight, you can crank it up and it will not wash out. I mean, you can hold it like in direct sun and you can still see it. And the thing I like about it is it's the round. It's a round ocular or, you know, look through versus just round on the top and flat on the bottom like the Delta Point Pro. So this one actually to my eye, it fits my eye even better. Now, the durability test, you know, and I had a feeling like if it was dropped or whatever, it would break, and Sage Dynamic did break it. It says it's not for duty use. However, if the normal individual wanted to carry this, and you're carrying it, you know, appendix or whatever, as long as you're not throwing it on the ground and stuff, I think it's going to be fine. Um, I haven't, uh, or I did carry this one when it was on the P10C. So, or excuse me, I carried the 2.5 when it was on the P10C and I didn't have any pro, or excuse me, P10F, it was on the P10F. I didn't have any problems carrying it in the Harry's holster. So, and it didn't like poke into me and this is the largest one, so it didn't dig into me or anything like that. It just kind of felt like the normal, the normal other RMRs. But by far, this is my favorite because of the field of view. When you're shooting it really fast, it goes up to the top, comes back down, goes up to the top, comes back down. I have shot it so fast I've pulled it out of the window a couple of times, but it's harder to leave the window on this than it is on the Delta Point Pro. So I do like it a lot. Uh, also your field of view, like you can see, you know, you can see other things in it uh, and then you can still see your target. So when you're scanning, it seems to be a little bit faster with this one versus some of the other ones for me. Um, they are a little expensive, however, you know, for what you're getting, I think it's a great uh, setup and also you have the RMR platform so you're not having to mill it or cut it for something different. If you have an RMR cut, this will go on. Now with the overhang on some of the Glocks, if it goes over your ejection port, you don't want to use it because it can block 
you know, or have your brass deflect or something like that. And, you know, in order to clean these, I have like a little bulb that squirts air. So you can just push it in there and it squirts. And then I have a little brush. I got it off eBay. It's like a lens cleaning kit. And you can take the little brush and brush it out and wipe it off and it comes with a little towel and it works great. So I got two sets of those. I have one in my range bag and I have one here and then I'll just clean them up periodically. But out of all of them, this is my favorite just because of the field of view. Um, you know, the looks, the look that you can see uh, is just, it's just great. Uh, I think the roundness sets up the best for me. But my favorites right now are the SRO and the Hollow Sun 507C. So that's just me. Now, of course, your mileage may vary, but um, people have been asking for this video and this is what I wanted to put out so you would know. Uh, and these are all my points of view, not from someone else, but that's what I have for you. So if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them below. I'll be glad to answer anything I can for you. And remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.